تعالى امين والصلاة والسلام على شيخ الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله we begin by praising Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we pray that Allah bless this lesson and we are in the month of Shaaban we pray that Allah make us reach Ramadan with sehah and afiyah and may Allah سبحانه وتعالى bless us with forgiveness and answering any of our prayers, Amin Ya Rabbul Alameen. So in the uh, chapter of fasting from where we are, in the book in Muqaddim al we have come into page 163, where the author and he mentioned, وَيَجِبُ الْإِمْسَاكُ فِي رَمَضَانْ عَلَى تَارِكِ النِّيَّةِ وَالْمُتَعَدِّ بِفِطْرِهِ فِي يَوْمِ الشَّكِّ إِنْ تَيَبْقَنَ كَوْنُهُ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ وَيَجِبُ قَضَاءُهُ عَلَى الْفَوْرِ يعني the author any mention it is obligatory to observe imsak it is obligatory to observe any imsak the meaning of imsak is abstention to abstain any from eating and drinking Ala tarikin niya. Tarikin niya, yani is a person who does not make intention. We mentioned any last time that it is compulsory to make intention every night. But if a person does not make the intention and he wake up in the after fajr, now any we say that his fasting is not valid, but it is compulsory upon him to observe imsak. So there's the thing: fasting and is not valid. But imsak is wajib. So meaning, it is not permissible for him to eat and drink. If he eats and he drinks, it is sinful. Although, any we say, he's fasting and he's not valid. So some people, any might have this misunderstanding, thinking that since any my fasting and he's not valid, I can eat and drink. No, that is not the case. Qadha any is wajib. And it is wajib any to abstain any from eating and, and drinking and from the things that invalidate fasting. What one mutaaddi bifitrihi? So number one, tarikin niya. Yani a person does not make intention. Either we say he purposely or he forgets. Sometimes any a person forgets to make intention. Is the fasting valid or not valid? Not valid. So this is any the first example. The second example is al mutaaddi bifitrihi. A person who breaks any his fast intentionally, without any reason. Without any reason. Yani he wakes up in the morning and if for example he is fasting. Then suddenly he decided not to fast without any valid reason. This is al-muta'addi bifitrihi. Al-muta'addi bifitrihi. Meaning, he break any his fast without any reason that is accepted anybody sharia. So now he is sinful. He is sinful and his fasting is invalid. And it is compulsory upon him to observe himself again. So it doesn't mean any a person any who breaks any his fast intentionally, he is saying that since any I broke any my fast, so I can eat and drink. No. Eating and drinking any is prohibited. Even though your fasting any is even though your fasting is is invalid. One mutadi bi fitrihi fiyomi shak in tayakana kaunuhu min Ramadan. So we have any muta'addi bifitrihi Yani a person any who intentionally break any his fast And a person who break any his fast on the day any of shak So I basically require any some explanation So the first example any the author gave is Yani a person who forgets to make intention The second is a person who intentionally break in his fast. Number three, he, sp- he speaks any about Yamushak. What is the meaning any of Yamushak? Yamushak is like this. On the 29th of Sha'ban, on the 29th of Sha'ban, on the 29th of Sha'ban, it is said that somebody saw the moon, somebody only saw the crescent, but it's not confirmed. Somebody said, yes, 
Some people say no. So now when we do not know, should we fast any tomorrow? Somebody and you say yes, but we do not know any who saw it. Some people say no. Nobody and you see any depression. So now it becomes your mushak. Your mushak and the meaning of shak and the day of doubt. Meaning it is the day of doubt that should we fast or should we not fast? Should we fast or should we? Should we not fast? For example, and if a person fasts, if a person in fast, he says that since any day somebody already saw any depression, but we cannot any rely on who, but there is a possibility that tomorrow is Ramadan, so he's fasted. While he is fasting, it is said that today is Ramadan. Today is Ramadan. And now it is compulsory upon him and to continue fasting. He cannot break any his fast. If he breaks any his fast, now same thing to the second example. Yani a person who breaks any his fast intentionally. Even though he's young, young Mushak, but now any what did the author say? Young Mushak, but it turned up any to be to be Ramadan. Confirmed. Because sometimes you see last time, last time any people do not have radio, like situation is different any today. Today somebody spot any depression. The whole region and you will know. Try not. Will come out in the news, live live telecast. Everybody and sees. But last time it is different. Last time any somebody saw the crescent, but he lives one thousand miles in your way. So by the time any the news and you reach you, tomorrow and is day already. So sometimes it's like that. So last time any they have this thing. Because the news and you will reach for some time. Today and is very difficult. Uh, Today, one corner any of the world and he saw any the crescent and the whole one knows. Oh, yani fulan bin fulan and he saw the crescent. So now any if it is confirmed, then he has to continue fasting. If he breaks any his fast, again, we say imsak is wajib. Imsak any is wajib. And he has to observe, observe any imsak. وَيَجِبُ قَضَاءُهُ عَلَى الْفَوْرِ وَيَجِبُ قَضَاءُ Yani qada here meaning... He has to make up for the fasting immediately. Alal fau. Immediately. What is the meaning of immediately? For example, and if a person does not fast intentionally, a person does not fast intentionally, or a person purposely does, doesn't want to fast, we say qada yani is wajib and it is immediate. So, what is the meaning of immediate? Meaning it starts any on the second of Shawwal. On starts any on the second of Shawwal, meaning second of Shawwal, wajib he fast, wajib. He cannot delay. He can, he cannot say never mind. I, I want to enjoy Hagaya first, you know. After any Shawwal, then slowly any I will break. I, I will, I will make up any for my fast. The the more any he delay, the more any he is bearing the sin, because this making up any is immediate. It's obligation and it's immediate. So it falls any on the second any of Shawwal because you cannot fall on the first. Person of Shawwal cannot fast. Why? Because this is Eidul Fitri. It's not permissible to fast. But second day, any can fast. So now it becomes any compulsory. Now, when we go to the next part, the author mentioned fastun yustahabu ta'jilul fitri inda tayakunin hu. Now the author speaks any about the sunnahs in your fasting. Number one, if you are fasting and you want to break any of your fast, it is a sunnah that you break quickly. And if the food is, is in front of you, and you are convinced any, that the time of Maghrib has come, it is not a sunnah to delay breaking any of the fast. So this is the meaning of ta'jil ul-fitr. Uh, we do ta'jil, meaning quickly we break any our fast, even any with one date, even any with one date any and water. But the condition is tayakunil hu, that you must have the conviction that the sun any, has set. But if you are in doubt, you cannot break your fast. If you are in doubt, for example, someone is saying, uh, the time when you are breaking your fast and it is uh, uh, occurred and yours not occurred. If you are in doubt, you cannot break your fast. If you break your fast, your fasting becomes invalid. Even though you coincide with the timing. Clear, inshallah. Even though you coincide with the timing. For example, if Maghrib is at 7, 7 or 5, any people are in doubt whether the time of Maghrib has come or has not come. They break any their fast. The fasting any becomes any invalid. Although in reality, the time of Maghrib any has come. But because the act any of breaking any of the fast is based any on doubt, it makes any fasting invalid. 
wa an yakuna bi thalathi rutabat the author mentioned in the sunnah to break any nafas any with rutab what is rutab you see when it comes into dates there are two types of dates one is the tamar the other one is rutab what is the difference between tamar and tamar and rutab tamar any are dry dates rutab any are rutab any is the wet dates the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam breaks in his fast with rutab or tamar rutab Clear, inshallah. So that is why our, our ulama and he mentioned it is a sunnah to break any of our fast and if you talk. But normally we break fast and if tamar. Everywhere any you go, correct? In Singapore. Who talk any? Not many. But if you go to the Middle East, places any like Yemen, mashallah, who talk any is everywhere. Because they have any dead, dead palms in the, in, in the backyard. Uh, if, you, if, you're in the, if you're in the Middle East. But down here, any by the time any all these dates and it comes to us, ah, uh, everything and it comes to us in Iran, unless any you buy any dates like bam bam dates, the Iranian, ah, uh, those, those those kind of wet dates. So when it comes to breaking any of us, rutab is preferred over tamar. So this is what the, the author any mentioned. He said you stahabut. Uh, he said wa an yakuna bi salas rutabat bi salas any three. Based on the Sunnah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he breaks and he fasts and he breaks and he weaves, the odd number. Out tamarat, and if you cannot find hutab, then tamar. If you cannot find any hutab, then you break and you fast and you weave tamar. Fa in ajaza fa bi tamaratin. If a person and he doesn't have any much dates, even any one tamara, and he has any one tamar, it is a Sunnah for him and he to break his fast and he weave tamar. If a person say I don't have any dates, so you break any of us any by drinking water. Uh, you break a fast by drinking water. Wa yaqula indahu Allahu malaka sumtu wa ala riskika aftartu. This is any the dua after we break any of us. After we break of us. This dua in is read before or after. After, not before, because the dua is like this past tense. Like in English, any past tense, past tense, any refer to what? The action and it has been done. Correct, no? Allahumma laka sumtu. Allahumma laka sumtu. We say, any, oh Allah, I fast any for this for your sake. Wa ala riskika after tu. And I broke, I, I broke my fast. Huh? Past tense. I broke any my fast. By your sustenance, yani by, the, by your sustenance, and you have given me risk. So we say we broke any our fast. So broke our fast, any before or after? After, correct? Yani when you use a past tense, it's after. So that is why this dua is read after we break any our, after we break any our fast. Clear, inshallah. So we break any our fast first, then recite this dua. Because normally people recite this dua, then they break their fast, correct? So we, we break any of our fast. Of course, when we break our fast, we recite Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Basmala. And then we break any of our fast, then we recite this dua. Wa taftiru sa'imin. Taftiru sa'imin, it is a sunnah to give food to a sa'imin. Yani the ones who are fasting. Yani you will get any his, the rewards of his fast. If we, if we make any people, give me any people food or water, for them need to break their fast, we will get the rewards any of their fast. Even though any we give out dates. You see some people in Ramadan and they are very smart. They are smart and generous. So what they do? They buy a lot of dates and they give to people. So if you happen any to eat any from their dates, they will get the rewards any of your fasting. If you break any of your fast any by, the, by their dates, they know that they will get any rewards any from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So some people invest heavily any on dates. You know, in our mosque, there is a particular person who will buy, you know, how much he buy. Every Ramadan, you know, how much he buy dates? One container. Every year, he will buy one container from his own pocket money. And then, he will give out to the mosques. So, I asked him, any, why, any, why he is doing this? So, this is what he answered. Meaning, this, this person is smart. So he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give any rewards any of the people any who fast if you give them food for them to break their fast. So if I buy dates, people any will break their fast any first with dates, correct? 
Uh, normally, people break their fast only by by eating dates. You don't, you won't find any uh, uh, seldom people break their fast straight away eat rice. No, this is not like that. People any will will prefer any dates. So this person any he knows any that by giving any dates, people any will eat any from the dates and while breaking their fast. So he will get the rewards any of those any who are who are fasting. This is amal smart. Yani smart any amal. It is a sunnah you need to eat together with them. You need those any who are fasting. Because eating in jama'ah is barakah. In Islam, it is encouraged when we eat, we, we eat together. Not eat alone. Because eating any together, there is, there is barakah. Allah any gives any barakah. That sometimes any you eat a bit of food, is full. But the barakah in your jama'ah of eating in congregation. والسهور وتأخيره ما لم يقع في الشك يعني to eat any day يعني we have this word sahur and suhur sahur and suhur what is the difference sahur and suhur suhur is the timing sahur is the food that you eat at that timing that is the difference between suhur and sahur so the author anyway he says that suhur يعني it is a timing of sahar sahar any is the timing before fajr Sa- sahur is the food that you eat at that particular timing so in, in malay you see we say makan sahur is correct makan sahur yani you eat sahur sahur any is the food any that you eat at the time of sahur so you have any sahur and sahur so it is a sunnah to eat any sahur Afwan, to eat sahur during the time of sahur. Clear inshallah? Because sahur is the timing of sahar. Sahar is the timing and before? Before fajr. It is a sunnah to delay eating sahur. Sunnah is to delay. But not any delay any too much until you come to a state any of doubt whether now the subuh time is coming or has not come. That should not be the case. So usually any we give a leeway of how many minutes? Ten minutes. Why any ten minutes? It's based on the hadith of the Prophet. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa stopped eating sahur. The timing any is with the recitation of fifty verses in your Quran. Yani fifty verses in your Quran, if you recite, how many minutes? It's about ten minutes. So that is why we get ten minutes. I think remember any a few years ago any somebody posted or something and he said this bid'ah. This 10 minutes and it's bid'ah. There is no basis in the Quran, no sunnah, no this and this. But this person he doesn't know that the hadith of the Prophet and he mentioned any about what? Yani the Prophet and he will stop any eating qadar khamsin ayah. Khamsin. So the fuqaha, when they speak any about khamsin, they gauge. The recitation of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not too fast, not too slow. Ah, huh? tertil. So it is about any ten minutes. So that's how many we get ten minutes. Until today, we observe any ten minutes. So if if subo or fajr any is at five thirty, five twenty, you should stop. Five twenty, it is a sunnah that you should not be be eating any after after any five twenty. And also there is a danger because if you keep on eating, then the time of fajr any might come. Then your fasting and it will become an invalid. So this is where the author already mentioned it is a sunnah to delay eating the sahur, but not to a state anywhere you will be in doubt uh, as to whether the time in your fajr any has come. So not any to delay any a lot. Walaytisalu in kana alaihi ghuslun qabla subhi. It is a sunnah you need to bathe the, the obligatory bath before fajr. Why is it a sunnah to be the obligatory bath any before fajr and not after fajr? So lo- logically we understand why. Because if you bathe the obligatory bath after fajr, you have any to observe what? You have any to observe all the restrictions in your fasting. Because anyway, when it comes into bathing the obligatory bath, any you have to make sure water any uh, reaches any the outer part any of your ear. So there is a possibility that it goes any inside, it breaks any your fast. And then and when washing any of the fire parts also, if water any enters, it breaks in your fast. So all these any restrictions 
are applied any doing fasting. That is why it is a sunnah in it that you do, you bathe before fajr. So you don't have to worry about anything. But if you, you bathe any after fajr, then you cannot any be washing any your ears any like this. Correct or not? Your, your, your fasting and you become invalid. You have to wash like this. You have to take any water, pool like this. This is how when you wash your ears if you are fasting. Because if you do this, if you take the shower type like this, your fasting and it becomes any invalidated. So these are some of the things any that we have to be careful. And likewise, any when doing any stinja, we have to be careful. Because water enters into our private parts, our fasting becomes invalid. Because all these are body cavities. Uh, we, we spoke any about manfaz maftu before this. وَيَتَعَكَدُ لَهُ تَرْكُ الْكَذِبِ وَالْغِيبَ It is a sunnah, ya ni, to abstain any from what? Lying, backbiting, uh, all these things, any based on the hadith, the Prophet said, كَمْ مِنْ سَائِمٍ لَيْسَ لَهُ مِنْ سِيَامِهِ إِلَى الْجُوْءَ الْعَطَشِ How many people, any who fast, they do not get any rewards any from fasting except for hunger and thirst. Yeah, and because while they are fasting, any they, back, they backbite, they, they lie, they steal, they all do any, all any of the sins. They do not get rewards any for their fasting. Because why? They do not eat and drink, but their mouth, their tongues did not fast. Their eyes did not fast. Their ears they did not fast. Because fasting any is also any is not about eating, uh, abstaining any from eating and drinking. But fasting any is about abstaining from sins. Abstaining any from, abstaining any from sins. Then we get the benefit in the fasting. And then any he mentioned wa yusanu lahu tarku shahawat al mubaha tarku shahawat al mubaha what is shahawat al mubah first thing and you have to understand the word any mubah in fact any meaning what it, the meaning any mubah is something that if you do there is no rewards if you do not do there is no sin this is the meaning of mubah if you do there is no rewards لا يصاب على فعله ولا يعاقب على تركه. There's a meaning of mubah. So, for example, using any perfume is part any of shahawat al mubah. It is it is a sunnah that we avoid perfume any while fasting. Why? It is a sunnah that we avoid avoid any perfume any while fasting because yani our nafs is inclined towards perfume. Yani we like any things any that smell good. Since any it is an inclination any of the self, it is better to avoid because fasting you are, you are fighting your desire. But once any you do something that is inclined to the desire, it, it breaks any the it breaks the word the purpose of fasting. The purpose in your fasting is tarbiyah to nafs. Yani it is to go against any your desire. Not any to do something any that is inclined by your desire. This is a principle and in fasting. This qaida. Clear inshallah. So if I ask any, for example, what are some other things that uh, that is inclined by your desires? What are some of the things any that are inclined by your desires? Uh, some of scholars any mentioned any looking at beautiful scenery. Looking at beautiful scenery. This is something any that is inclined by desires. So anything any that is inclined by desires, we try our avoid our best any to avoid because we are going through a process of going against any of our desires. Kila inshallah. So anything that is inclined by the desires and it is within any mubah, within any mubah, it is encouraged any for us any not to, not any to do it. So that is why we, we, we say it is better to avoid any using perfume any while, while any fasting because any perfume any is something any that is inclined to the nas. Clear inshallah. فَإِنْ شَاتَمَهُ أَحَدٌ تَذَكَّرَ أَنَّهُ صَائِمٌ If a person swears any as someone, any a person, a person is called that or shatam meaning vulgarity. Somebody and he said any vulgarity to a person, so he remind himself, أَنَا صَائِمٌ I am fasting. Uh, this is based on the advice of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And if a person any call you or a person any say bad things any about you, then we should observe patience. Inni sa'im, inni sa'im. Yeah, based on the hadith. That I am, I am fasting, I am fasting. Our scholars and he mentioned this particular hadith, the Prophet and he said that if someone make you angry, you say, I am fasting, I am fasting. But is it literally you say, I am fasting, I am fasting, or you are reminding yourself that you are fasting? 
Ah, there are two opinions. Some scholars and he mentioned, no, you say it out. Yani you say to the person who swears any at you, I am fasting, and you to tell him that yani be patient and do not do not do all these things. Another opinion says that no, you remind yourself that you are fasting so that you don't do anything bad and towards him also. You remind any yourself and you to observe any patience because that will make any your your rewards lesser any if you engage. So it is better for you to abstain. So this is where the author any mentioned. And this is based on the hadith. Watarku hijama It is a sunnah to avoid cupping. Because this is a matter of difference. In the mouth of Imam Ahmad, Ahmad bin Hanbal, cupping invalidates uh, fasting. Cupping, bloodletting, blood donation, invalidate fasting. This is in the mouth of Hanbali. In the mouth of Imam Shafi, we say makro. Fasting is makro. Afan, uh, cupping in is makro while fasting. Bloodletting is makro. Blood donation makro. And all these things are makro. When a person and he is, when a person and he is fasting. Wal madri wa dawqi ta'am. Madr, yani meaning you put any solid in your mouth and then you start to chew. You usually children and they like to do this. They take plastic, they put inside their mouth and then they chew. But then they say, but I don't need anything, I, I'm only chewing. Say this is makro. This is, this is any makro. Although any nothing enters into the body. But doing this and it is makro. Wazawku ta'am. Tasting food. Avoid any tasting food. Yani for no reason. Unless any person and is, is cooking and he or she and is fear, has fear any for the food. But if we can avoid any, we avoid. If we can avoid, we avoid. Like people who, people any who's, who does not cook any, for example, just any for the sake any of, ta- of tasting uh, some people and before breaking a fast and they want to taste first the food so they can plan they can plan the menu what to eat and doing any doing any breaking any of fast uh, all these things and you say makro if the food any enters the body khalas it, it break any of the fast wal qubla kissing anything that is uh, sexual can can lead to sexual arousal is makro anything that leads any to sexual arousal whether it's kissing touching anything all this any makro. But this any if with the, the spouse. Yani if with the Ajnabiya or yani woman and who has no blood ties or spouse and becomes haram. Any form of sexual arousal any that is not uh, halal and is haram. Not permissible. Watahumu in khashiya fihal inzal. It becomes haram yani if he fears ejaculation. Yani if the kissing becomes intense. To such an extent that a person in fears that he might ejaculate. Now we say this haram, this is not makro. Now it is haram and because of its intensity. Because it can listen to ejaculation. Wayukrahu siwak ba'da zawal. After zawal, makro hani to use siwak. So I think all of you any know I siwak. This is siwak, right? Likewise, any brushing of teeth. No, no brushing any of teeth any after zawal. Makro. Why any after zawal? Our ulama any mentioned because any of the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, la famu saim atiyabu, in the Allah la 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 famu, yani the hadith any mentioned any that the smell any of the mouth any of a person who is fasting smells any better to Allah subhanahu wa taala than musk. Kira inshaAllah, so it is bako to remove any the smell, and this smell any comes any after zawal, not before zawal, because before zawal. It is influenced any by the food any that you eat any sahur. So after zawal any then comes any you, when your stomach when your stomach and it becomes empty that is any the point where the smell any of the mouth any is because any of fasting and not because of the food any that you eat any sahur. So that is why they make the differentiation between after zawal and before zawal. Clear? Anyway, zawal any is what? Zawal any is time of zuhur. Eh? This is the meaning any of zawal. Zawal ushams. Yes. What? Anyone? Yeah, the sun is a zenith. Yeah, meaning the sun and it is on, on top any of you, and with a slight inclination. This is the meaning of zawal. Zalat is shams. If the sun and is is on top, this is istiwa. 
istiwa any when when the sun is exactly on top of you. So zawal any meaning when there is a slight any a slight inclination, a slight inclination towards the west. So there will be a shadow, correct? No, there will be any of shadow any towards the one, ah, huh? towards the towards the east. Come on, that's any time in Zohar. Is it is this Azan? Azan, no? Okay. Mm. Inshallah, we can finish, inshallah. Okay, um, should we continue any of it? Okay, we just uh, we just continue until page 165. Huh? So uh, after Isha, inshallah, when we come, we, we speak about expiation. So the author mentioned why you stahabu fi Ramadan tausiyatu ala al-iyal. Tausiyatu ala al-iyal, any meaning to spend any on the family, to make the family happy. This is a sunnah. Uh, when it comes to the month of Ramadan. Walihsanu ila al-arham wal-jiran. Yani to do good any to our relatives and our neighbors. Ramadan any is a time any of sadaqah. Uh, the time of helping people. Especially siratul rahim. Uh, the importance any of what? Uh, of uh, binding these uh, relations any between our family members especially. And likewise any our neighbors and others. Wa iksaru sadaqah You need to give any a lot any of sadaqah for those any who are able to Wa tilawa To recite any of the Qur'an Because Ramadan any is the man Allah sent down the Qur'an Wa mudarasat al-Qur'an Likewise any tadarus Mudarasa meaning it, it, it is more than two and more people Reciting together or one by one And this is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did with Jibreel Alayhi Salaam in the month of Ramadan So tadarus any is a sunnah uh, In Ramadan especially والاعتكاف لا سيما العشب الأواخر فيها ليلة القدر. To do the اعتكاف in the last ten nights especially. In the Mazhab Imam Shafi, every time we enter the Masjid, we say نوايت الاعتكاف في هذا المسجد لله تعالى. Ah, it is encouraged that we make the vow. نزرت الاعتكاف في هذا المسجد ما دمت فيه لله تعالى نوايت الاعتكاف المندور. So this is any اعتكاف any based any on vow. If you make any اعتكاف any based any on vow. Then you get the rewards any of obligatory i'tikaf. Ah, in Ramadan any mashallah it is, ah, it is multiplied. Ah, this is how any we, we do amal smart. Ah, smart any amal. You make any the intention any of vowing. So a person any makes any i'tikaf uh, without the intention of vowing. You make in, intention of i'tikaf vowing. Minimum Allah give you seventy times more rewards. Correct enough. So one person any does any niyat i'tikaf. You do the niyat of i'tikaf. Your niyat i'tikaf seventy times. The rewards any of the person any who does any atikaf any together with you, but the difference any is the intention. Uh, likewise in taraweeh prayers, taraweeh prayers any if I make taraweeh usalli rakaataini mina taraweeh, I get any sunnah reward. But if I say nazar tu rakaataini mina taraweeh, is there a difference? Now any your salat to taraweeh become nazar mandur. So your salat to taraweeh any Allah any will multiply any minimum many seventy times in Ramadan. Because any you make any the intention of another and it becomes any wajib, so the rewards any is the rewards any is multiplied. So these are so many of the ways any in Ramadan any how we can multiply, multiply any our rewards. So every time we enter any the masjid and we make any such any intention when we perform any witr prayers, we make any such any intention when we perform any taraweeh prayers, we make any such any intention. So mashallah, and we go at the month of Ramadan, ah, uh, we 
gain any Allah any of rewards. Wa yaqulu fiha Allahumma inna ka'afun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. Yani this based hadith from Aisha. Yani Aisha radiyallahu anna asa kuwa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya Rasulullah ibn al-Tarih happens, what should I do? Yani Aisha radiyallahu anna asa kuwa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya Rasulullah ibn al-Tarih happens, what should I do? The Prophet said, recite this dua. Allahumma inna ka'afun. Yani oh Allah, yani you are the one who always like to forgive. Tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anni. Please say, yani forgive me. Wa yaktumuha. Yani if a person yani saw Laylatul Qadr, it is a sunnah that he hides. All this is because of itibak. The Prophet ﷺ says, hide. Do not tell any people that light of Qadr until any Fajr. After Fajr, you can say it. Is it Iqam? I'm so sorry. Yeah.